Mentos plus soda produces an impressive fountain of bubbles. But why? Let's say you ask your friends, and you search online, but you come up with conflicting answers. Some sources say that sugar reacts with a diet soda to make the fountain. It's a chemical reaction. Other sources say it's a physical reaction caused by the rough texture of the candy. What do you mean, rough texture? Mentos are smooth and round. It can't be sugar. Soda already has sugar in it. That's why you have to use diet soda. How are you going to decide who is right? You could choose based on which person you like better, or which website is more entertaining and appealing. But these are not good methods for getting to the facts. There is a reason Mentos react with soda to produce a fountain of bubbles, and with the help of the scientific method, we can figure out which explanation is correct. Let's begin by testing the first explanation we heard, that the reaction is caused by a chemical reaction of sugar and diet soda. If the sugar in our Mentos is the cause of our eruption, then we would expect other sweet candy to produce a similar effect. So let's test jelly beans, gummy bears, and sour watermelon candies. The other candy produced much smaller reactions than the Mentos. The results did not support our hypothesis. Now let's test the second explanation, the idea that the reaction is caused by the rough texture of the Mentos. If a rough texture is all that is needed to produce bubbles, then sand should also produce a reaction. And it does. In fact, when we did this experiment, sand produced a higher fountain and got more of the soda out of the bottle than the Mentos. The results support our hypothesis. This explanation is the correct one. Soda is a carbonated beverage, which means it contains a lot of dissolved gas. That gas wants to come out of solution and form bubbles, but it needs a surface to form on. This is why you see bubbles along the side of a cup when you pour soda into a glass. Although Mentos candies appear smooth, their microscopic surface is incredibly rough, providing excellent nucleation sites for forming bubbles. The scientific method is awesome, and it's not just for science experiments. It's a powerful way to evaluate ideas and discover how and why things work. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I challenge you to think like a scientist. If you find a use for the scientific method, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.